Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert your logo into a 3D object using Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Ideally, you would have a finalized logo that is converted to paths, and it's going to be easiest if you choose something a little bit lighter than black, at least, just so we can see the highlights and shadows. So next, let's go to Window, 3D and Materials. And that icon in the panel is this 3D box. And at the very top, let's do extrude. And here we can change the depth. And as you scroll down, you can change the view. Once you're happy with that, you can go to export object, select OBJ file, or there's various other formats. Rename the file right here, and choose where you'd like to export. And here's that 3D object. Now let's say we have a working logo where the text is still editable. And in this case, I have a white box that's covering up this stroke circle. So we don't want any extra shapes, or those are going to become 3D as well as you'll see in this example. So you're going to need to optimize your logo to just the objects you want to be 3D. So in this case, I need to use my Pathfinder to reduce this only to the shapes that will be 3D. You also want to make sure that everything is using the same opacity, ideally 100%. And if you did need to change the depth independently and you don't have those grouped, you can do that here. And again, it's a little easier if you make this lighter in color. If you need to go back and remove that 3D effect, you can go to your Appearance panel, which is under Window, Appearance, and click on 3D and Materials and the Trash Can. If you do independently change the depths of different objects, then you may have an issue with mixed appearances and you may have to individually click and remove the effect. One more use case is you can select an object and give it a fill of none with a stroke. And go ahead and give that an extrusion depth. And this is a cool way that you can quickly save an outline of a channeled shape. And here is that stroked object. I hope this video helped you see how easy it is to convert your logo into a 3D object. Thanks for watching and see you next time.